Within the expansive and complicated world of Bleach, the Thousand Year Blood War arc emerges as a truly captivating saga. In this video, we dive into a conflict that has lasted for a thousand years. As the story unfolds, we uncover hidden secrets, long-standing rivalries, and surprising turn of events that will captivate even the least dedicated fans, leaving them eagerly suspended on the edge of their seats. The winds of change blow ominously over Karakura Town, with hollows mysteriously disappearing, fresh Soul Reapers Ryunosuke Yuki and Shino Madarame take guard, but an unexpected ambush shows them the danger of the human world. Ichigo Kurosaki and his squad did their best to ensure the newcomer's survival, yet peace is short-lived. Ichigo soon encounters Asgiaro Ebern of the Wandenreich, revealing a medallion with the power to seal his formidable Bankai. As Ichigo overcomes this challenge, greater darkness looms in the Soul Society. A brazen attack on Captain Yamamoto's office by the Quincy Empire signifies is a powerful statement. The tragedy deepens with Lieutenant Chojiro Sasakibe's life hanging in the balance. Concurrently, the 11th squads Ikako and Yumichika delve into the mystery of vanishing Rukon District civilians. All roads lead to Wandenreich's fortress, Silburn, where Abern reports to the enigmatic Quincy King, Yuha Baha. Huecomundo, which was once the realm of the powerful Arankars, now lies in chaos. Neliel and Pesce's sudden appearance in the human world brings a troubling news. The Wandenreich's Tyranny has dethroned Tyr Halibel, plunging the once feared Arankars into a choice of allegiance, death, or enslavement. Determined to intervene, a rescue team of Kisuke Urahara, Ichigo, Orihime, Chad, Nell, and Pesce sets foot on the hallowed grounds of Hueco Mundo. Simultaneously, the Wandenreich's formidable Kilge Opie, the first Yagdarmi's hunting captain, embarks on a chilling recruitment spree, sifting through the Arankar for potential allies. Loli and Minoli's brave but futile retaliation is swiftly snuffed out. Yet hope emerges in the form of the fierce Tres Bestias, Emilu, Francesca, and Cyan. The trio's formidable presence momentarily tilts the balance, but even they are hard-pressed against Kilge's might. With a clear objective, Ichigo vows to liberate the oppressed Arankars from their shackles. The stage of Hueco Mundo turns darker as the fierce Ichigo engages Kilge in a high-octane duel. As the battle heats up, the Tres Bestias, with a sense of desperation, summons the monstrous Ion to tip the scales in their favor. Elsewhere, Uryu searches deep into the ancient feud that pits Soul Reapers against Quincy's, unearthing shocking truths. But they discover the dark secret, Mayuri Kurotsuchi's chilling order to exterminate civilians from the Rukon district becomes public knowledge, and his motive was to rectify a soul imbalance instigated by Quincy's, who mercilessly annihilated Hollows in the living world. Adding weight to the past, it is disclosed that the venerable Yamamoto had once failed to defeat Yuha Baha a millennium ago. In an unprecedented onslaught, over 1,000 Soul Reapers are decimated under the crushing power of the Quincy invasion, so battle lines were quickly drawn. Captain Rojuro Rose Otoribashi stands against the cunning stern ritter Yu Nanana Nayakup. With Captain Byakuya Kuchiki and Lieutenant Renji Aburai, lock horns with stern ritters F. Asnot and S. Mask the Masculine. As battles rage on, other captains of the Soul Society find themselves facing unknown stern ritter adversaries. When a fierce encounters reach a standstill, Captain Soifon, Toshiro Hitsugaya, along with their peers, release the majestic power of their Bankais. But in a twist of fate, they are rendered powerless as the stern ritters deploy their absorbing medallions to steal these mighty abilities. The revelation that the Bankais can be stolen spreads like wildfire, injecting panic into the Soul Society's ranks. Amidst the chaos, Captain Shunsoi Kyoraku suffers a debilitating injury, blinded in one eye by Robert Akutrone. Far from the battlefield, the duel between Ichigo and Kilge persists. Urahara keenly observes that unlike others, Ichigo's Bankai seems resistant to theft. As Urahara readies a portal for Ichigo, Kilge, not one to be cornered easily, ensnares Ichigo using his The Jail ability. Isolated him from the escalating war in the Soul Society. Bound by the unyielding walls of Kilge's jail, Ichigo is tormented by the haunting echoes of fallen Soul Reapers. His desperation to break free amplifies, but an unforeseen savior abruptly silences Kilge, leaving a thick air of mystery. The battles within Soul Society intensifies. Byakuya and Renji face the sinister Ashnot with the sting of Reishi thorns. Ashnot awakens Byakuya's deepest terrors. As Byakuya grapples with the psyche, Ashnot gains the upper hand, turning 
Ming Byakuya's own Bankai against him. With their backs against the wall, Renji and Rukia suffer grievous wounds at the hands of the other menacing Sternritters. Meanwhile, the indomitable Zaraki, with three Sternritters already defeated under his belt, comes face to face with the enigmatic Yuha Baha and his loyal lieutenant, Yogram Hashwalt. Just as the tide seemed to turn, 9th Division Lieutenant Shuhei Hisagi finds himself on the verge of defeat by Sternritter O, Driscoll Bursi, yet hope manifests in the formidable presence of Head Captain Yamamoto. Driscoll, in a moment of dark pride, unveils his treachery, having slain Sasakibe and pilfering his treasured bankai, Koko Gonryo Rikyu. The revelation rekindles a millennia-old memory in Yamamoto of a time when Sasakibe first unveiled his bankai. Seirete's skies echo with the clash of titans as Yamamoto and Yuhabaha wage war upon its rooftops. The tide seems to turn as Yuhabaha unsheaths his blade, but Yamamoto, in a demonstration of sheer dominance, unveils his bankai, Zankano Tachi. Instantly, the environment shifts. Water evaporates, leaving a desolate wasteland in its wake. Within the 4th Division's quarters, Captain Retsu Unohana and her loyal lieutenant, Isani Kotetsu, gaze at the unfolding chaos with a mix of awe and dread, aware that prolonging this battle might spell doom for the Soul Society itself. As the fight ensues, you Yuhabaha struggles against the overwhelming force of Zanga no Tachi. Yamamoto, in his pride, declares the invulnerability of his bankai to theft, but in a sudden twist, it revealed that the Yuhabaha he faces is but an imposter. Stern Ritter Y, yourself, Roy Lloyd, the real Yuhabaha emerges, showcasing his ruthless nature by annihilating Division 1's barracks and executing Roy for his inadequacy. In a startling revelation, Yuhabaha discloses his meeting with the infamous Sosuke Aizen, Prison deep within the earth, the cunning Aizen, considered one of the Wandenreich's five special war powers, rebuffs Yuhabaha's recruitment proposal, opting for solitary confinement over servitude. As Yamamoto makes a desperate attempt to reclaim victory, Yuhabaha showcases a terrifying ability. He does the unthinkable, stealing Yamamoto's prized bankai, and in a chilling final act, he brings down the mighty head captain, silencing a legacy. Centuries prior, the Proto 13 court guard squads were relentless warriors immersed in the bloodshed of Wandenreich. It was then Yamamoto and Sasakibe stood against Yuhabaha, besting him. From that brutal past, Yamamoto reshaped the squads into cohesive, purposeful protectors. As we return to the present, Yuhabaha disintegrates Yamamoto's corpse, a chilling symbol of his triumph. Suddenly, Ichigo, bursting with resolve, confronts Yuhabaha. Their swords clash with powerful might, with Ichigo channeling his Ketsuga Tensho. But Yuhabaha's prowess quickly overpowers Ichigo, as as death nears, Ichigo's unknown Quincy heritage saves him from Blut Vene. Yuha Baha cunningly hints at mysteries of Ichigo's lineage and past. Just as victory seems within Yuha Baha's grasp, Aizen's manipulative powers inadvertently aid the Soul Reapers by distorting Yuha Baha's perception of time. Ichigo, rekindled with hope, lunges at Yuha Baha, only to face another setback. Yugram shatters his Zampakto. With portals swirling around, Yuha Baha's parting words send shockwaves. He hints at Ichigo's enigmatic connection connection to him, cryptically calling him his son, born in the dark. The aftermath of the invasion is dire. Many soul reapers sustain severe injuries with Byakuya at death's door. Amidst the healing efforts of Division 4, Mayuri delivers somber news to Ichigo. His shattered Zampakto might never be mended. Grief grips the soul society as they grieve Yamamoto and fear for the futures of Byakuya and Zaraki. Unexpected allies emerge as Squad Zero, Guardians of the Soul King, and elite former captains arrive. Their presence is a beacon of hope. Ichigo learns of his rescuers from Kilge Clutches. An undercover Grimjo Jaggerjack, Kukako Shiba orchestrates a vital mission, propelling Ichigo, Byakuya, Renji, and Rukia to the Royal Palace with Squad Zero to rejuvenate their powers and reforge Zangetsu. In an unexpected twist, some old faces like Ganju, Ginjo, and Tsukishima, and Giriko, now deceased, are found in the Soul Society. The Royal Palace buzzes with activity as Tenjiro Kirinji employs advanced healing on the wounded, but an even greater event unfolds, the awakening of the enigmatic Soul King. Following their complete healing by Kirinji, Ichigo and Renji venture into Kiryo Hikifune's realm. They are fed ancient Soul Society delicacies rich in spiritual pressure before meeting Oetsu Nimaya, the Zampakto's creator. As they delve into the Zampakto's mysteries, Captain Kyoraku ascends as the new head captain, accompanied by his lieutenant Nanao Ise and newly promoted Genjiro Okikiba. He makes an unexpected decree, Zaraki will learn Zanjutsu from Unohana. Unohana unveils a shocking truth, she's the notorious criminal in Soul Society's annals. 
the inaugural Kenpachi with her genuine name, Yachiro Unohana. Their fierce combat in Muken reveals their intertwined past. Zaraki remembers their initial encounter and the scar he left on her. Unohana laments Zaraki's weakened state, vowing to push him to his limits, repeatedly reviving him to unleash his ultimate prowess. Centuries prior, a restless Unohana seeks a worthy adversary amidst her constant bandit skirmishes. Her desire is met when a young, ferocious Zaraki confronts her. As Zaraki dominates, his own subconscious inhibitions leads to his defeat. In the current day, their relentless combat continues. Unohana constantly wounds Zaraki, whose power multiplies after each revival. Simultaneously, Ichigo, Renji, and Khan navigate Nimaya's palace. Amidst numerous Zampakto spirits and the whimsical Nimaya, they uncover the essence of Zampakto creation, the Asauchi. The duo faces a grueling test against countless Asauchi in a pit. Renji emerges successful, but Ichigo falters. Nimaya promptly sends a dejected Ichigo to the human world, emphasizing his need to revisit his origins and lack of traditional training. Nimaya enlightens Renji that he's crafted every Zampakto for millennia, except Ichigo's, an anomaly as it wasn't forged by him. Meanwhile, a dejected Ichigo receives comfort from Ikumi Unagiya before his father, Ishin, garbed in Soul Reaver attire, retrieves him, revealing their intricate family history. Two decades before, as Division 10 Captain Ishin Shiba, he probed mysterious Soul Reaper debts in Araki City. The culprit, a formidable hollow named White, birthed from amalgamated Soul Reaper souls. Concurrently, Masaki Kurosaki, a genuine Quincy noble senses the upheaval and intervenes. In the ensuing confrontation, Aizen and his accomplices ambush Ishin. As he falters, Masaki rescues him, drawing White's attention and subduing it. Sharing her Quincy identity, Masaki's initial apprehension dissipates with Ishin's genuine joy. In the background, Ryuken and Kanae choose departure over intervention. Fast forwarding, the episode concludes with Uryu encountering Yugram. Ishin unravels more to Ichigo. Post White Hollow incident, he omits Masaki in his reports to Yamamoto but feels inexorably drawn to her. Tragically, an attack aftermath leaves Masaki descending into darkness. A nascent hollow forms within. Her collapsing after aiding a soul reaper evokes Ryuken's mother's ire. Witnessing Masaki's plight, a desolate Ryuken confronts Ishin. Urahara intercedes, recalling his long exile and Visor's cure research. Given Masaki's potent Ek Quincy essence now melded with a hollow, a distinct solution is necessary. A soul reaper's complete power is imperative to perpetually counteract the hollow. Selflessly, Ishin steps forward, accepting Urahara's specialized gigai that metamorphoses a soul reaper into a human. Romance blossoms for both couples, Ishin Masaki and Ryuken Katagiri. Ishin reveals a harrowing truth about Masaki and Katagiri's deaths. Yuhabaha's power-hungry Aus Velen. As Ichigo retrieves his badge from Ikumi, Ryuken discerns Uryu's suspicious associations with the Stern Ritters. Ichigo is repositioned among the Asauchi, but this time they bow, recognizing the hollow white within him. Simultaneously, Soul Society captains and lieutenants train rigorously. Hitsugaya revisits foundational skills. Kensei prompts Hisagi to confront hollow-fied Mashiro, while Akon discovers Kurotsuchi's intense laboratory endeavors. Captain Komamura seeks his clan's sacred technique, and Soi Fun strengthens herself in isolation. Nimaya's revelation stunned Ichigo, White is his true Zanpakuto, while old man Zangetsu embodies his latent Quincy abilities, mirroring a millennium-old Yuhabaha. As Ichigo and Zangetsu bid adieu, Ichigo inherits his genuine dual-bladed Zangetsu, sensing both entities. Meanwhile, at Silburn, Yuhabaha, flanked by Hashwalt, welcomes a stern ritter-clad Uryu. The part 1 of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War comes to an end. Spoiler, the part 2 promises more twists and secrets. For now, you may share your thoughts on what you think about this anime. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications to this channel so that you don't miss the latest updates on all the best animes.